Well, you guys, in this video, we're taking a look at when you should upgrade your BIOS. Now, do you need to upgrade your computer's BIOS or should you leave it well alone? Well, back in the old days, we had a saying saying that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And basically what that means is if you're having no troubles whatsoever, then you shouldn't probably update your BIOS. It's perfectly fine. They call it flashing the BIOS. But if your computer is working perfectly fine, then you don't need to really update the BIOS. You probably won't see any difference between the new BIOS and the old BIOS. Now, most people have had a computer for quite some time and have had no problems with a computer whatsoever. So why would you want to update the BIOS? The only time you would want to update the BIOS is to fix a bug for a piece of hardware that you've got. Maybe it won't work properly, or maybe you're experiencing some sort of problem with that hardware when you're trying to plug it into the computer. Now, sometimes having the latest BIOS update can fix a lot of problems like this. The misconception with BIOS is, is that it will improve performance and make the PC faster. It won't speed up your PC. It's just going to fix bugs, known bugs to that hardware that you may be plugging in or add support for new hardware that you might add to that motherboard. It can also resolve issues with hardware that you're plugging into the computer and fix and resolve those problems. Or you want to add some port for a new model of CPU or some sort of hardware change on your system. Now, many years ago, used the flash BIOSes with a floppy disk but now we use a, a flash drive or you can do it via the internet and it's a lot safer to do. But that doesn't mean to say that if you lose power while it's flashing that BIOS, your computer will become bricked and unbootable. That means your computer motherboard is now kaput. You will need to try to get that BIOS back and it's not always that easy, especially when it's flashed the BIOS and it's due to write the new BIOS and it needs to delete the original BIOS on there before it writes the new one. Now there's a lot more safety measures on the newer motherboards as you can see here. They have dual BIOSes and they also have other ways of getting your motherboard back up and running. But that is still a risky business. And as you can see here, this is ASRock's uh, website. It doesn't really matter what type of motherboard you got, whether it's MSI, ASRock, ASUS, uh, Gigabyte, any of the big main manufacturers, they will all have a website where you'll go to the support page and download drivers and also BIOS versions. Now, when you go here, you will see under the BIOS area, there is a big warning sign saying, please read this information below before downloading and updating your BIOS. We do not recommend users to update their BIOS if the system is already running normally. So when is the right time to flash your BIOS? When should you flash your BIOS? Well, you should go to the manufacturer's website and check to see what bug fixes they are. And if you're having a known bug, uh, with that uh, particular computer, you can go to the manufacturer's website, check their BIOS list to see whether there's a fix for it. Maybe uh, customers have contacted uh, the motherboard manufacturer by an email or support and said, I'm having this known issue with a bug and they will then release a BIOS when there's been probably plenty of other people doing the same thing. So known bugs, hardware support, maybe you've got a camera or something like that that's not working correctly with that motherboard what they would then do is put out a BIOS update for that and they would list it with that. You would obviously put the BIOS onto a flash drive and you would then flash the BIOS only if you're having an issue. So known issues to the motherboard manufacturer, they normally release BIOS updates. Now, what is another reason why you might want to flash the BIOS? Well, it could be a brand new motherboard. It might be just released onto the market by the motherboard manufacturer and you might have just built your PC and there'll be a list of BIOS updates in a very short space of time. That's because when they release these BIOSes, they start to get known issues uh, to that motherboard and they will start releasing loads of BIOSes. Normally this tapers out after a period of time and you won't see many more BIOS updates for that motherboard because we live in a world where we're updating uh, hardware so quickly that it becomes obsolete. So if you're not experiencing any bugs or problems and you don't need any hardware support 
or anything like that whatsoever and everything is working hunky dory then you don't really need to bother updating the BIOS. There's not much point. The manufacturers are telling you that not to update it if it's working fine. Now, if you're a gamer and you're having a game and you're experiencing some sort of problems, maybe it's to do with the BIOS and you can check the manufacturer's website and then rectify that by flashing the BIOS. If you're having issues, that is the only time you need to really do it. So mainly, it is mainly for CPUs that might have been added to that socket for that motherboard and they've added them in uh, so they're compatible and stuff like that on that particular motherboard. And bug fixes, which is a little bit of code they add in to fix bugs and hardware support for known hardware. And that's going to be about it. So if you're not having any issues, leave well alone. There's no point. You're not going to see no difference between your new BIOS and your old BIOS. Hope this one helps you out and clears that matter up. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day and I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.